Greetings, my loyal fans. Jay will be here. Well, it's that time of year again. October is here. And I gotta say, I am really looking forward to seeing what this spooky season has to offer. And quite personally, I'm interested in the Halloween specials and cartoons that come on as the days go on throughout this month. But you probably didn't know that there were some Halloween-worthy cartoons or some cartoons with a horror theme or kind of a weird spooky setting that actually came out or came on the air before Halloween. Before October, even. Well, I figured, why not explore this unknown world of the cartoon landscape? But I don't think I'll be the one to take you. I think you need my other half. He's more on the creep factor side, but I think we'll get to know him. He's known as the Keeper. That's better. I'm glad I finally got rid of that guy. Greetings. Keeper's the name. Hey, don't be fooled. I'm only taking over his body. I'm using my I'm using this mask here to hide my true self. Me and the other guy are one of the same. So let's just face it right here, right now. I'm going to take you on a gut-wrenching, spine-tingling, heart-stopping tour of a place that I call home. A place where I'm the groundskeeper. The Cartoon Graveyard. <laughs> it's a rest home for Halloween specials, spooky cartoons, all manner of things that go bump in the night on the big silver screen or on the small screen. And I think it's best that we start with the first grave. It took me quite a bit of digging, but I finally found it. The very first cartoon worthy of being seen on Halloween. Time to pay a visit to our old friend Felix the Cat. Hope you're ready. Because it's time to enter the Cartoon Graveyard. Now, when I dug this up, I thought it was a pretty amazing find. And don't get me wrong, they don't call me the Crypt Keeper of the Cartoon Graveyard for nothing. And I gotta say, it's definitely worth your time to see this. If you want to know where a little thing called Ghost Busting began. It all started on January 1st, 1923, when a small little director by the name of Otto Mesmer decided to uh, unleash his uh, friendly feline friend onto the cartoon landscape in 1923 with a cartoon that very few had ever seen before. But bear in mind, the 1920s was the silent age. A time when horror was more about demons, witches, things that go bump in the night. Which is fitting for this cartoon, I have to say. But specifically, this cartoon actually shows where ghost busting came from. I've seen this cartoon many different times. But all in all, it's okay for its time. It's not exactly the best out there, but it's historical. What's the word I'm looking for? Historical relevance is the reason why it should be worth your time. It's worth a look. And since all the Felix the Cat cartoons were made in 1919, 1918, around that time period, it's in the public domain, so don't be afraid to go and find it. But personally, like I said, I think it's okay for its time. It was a silent cartoon. This was before the days of that 
certain fellow with the big ears. All I, all I gotta say, at least it gave us a good idea of where Ghostbusting came from. Uh, feel that other guy coming and trying to take back his body. Anyway, uh, I'll be seeing you. Trust me, I'll be seeing you again. But for now, here's my other half with the official, unofficial sponsor for this new show, which, by the way, is called Tales from the Cartoon Crypt. <laughs> Quite a name to die for, isn't it? <laughs> oh, man. Sorry about that. That often happens around here. But like my other half, Keeper, told me, or told you rather, this video is officially yet unofficially sponsored by Spirit Halloween, your one-stop shop for all your Halloween needs, Party City, where no one has more Halloween for less, and my personal favorite unofficial official sponsor, Count Chocula Cereal. Big taste in every bite. Hope to see you all, well, Keeper hopes to see you all next time on another episode of The Cartoon Crypt.